I want to use your words. Do you think this is Noble Group now finally coming clean? Well, certainly, uh, I think all of the level three net fair value gains, so which accounting sleight of hand that uh, Noble had been using the past few years, I think all of those have now been written down to zero. So this is a partial cleansing. Um, we have a lot of doubts about some of the other accounts, uh, such as the level two fair value gains. And I don't think we've seen those completely cleansed. So, but it's part of the process. Yes, I mean we're, you know, we're seeing the wheels falling off here, and um, part of it is actually a little bit sad, to be honest. Um, but um, yeah, this is a company that had manipulated its accounts, in my view, for some years. So, this is the unwind. They've taken some pretty chunky provisions here to be more conservative about their balance sheet. They're stripping out some of the core assets like the oil and power business, which they've sold to, to Mercuria here. They're trying to sell their oil liquids business, the focus hoping to be on the Asian business. Just in light of what you've said, is there any value in the company that remains? Is it viable? Probably not, but to be fair, I haven't tried to model out the cash flow or really do a liquidity analysis on this company. Um, I mean, what I'd said previously was I suspect that a more sober look at the various offtake agreements and other contracts they have would yield a book value that was actually below zero. So I think the company, it, we're getting toward truing up to that, but I, I don't know that they'll ever true it up to that level. And it might not even be relevant because at the end of the day, liquidity is going to determine whether and for how long this company survives.